Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Today is my 40th birthday, and it has been a tradition for me to do a house tour, for us to do a house tour, but since we are staying with my parents this week, along with how many other people? But like nine total yeah. in this house right now, and it's usually just my mom and dad. Yeah. And so I thought what I'd do is give you the tour of one of my childhood homes, uh, where I had lived from age five to whenever I moved out and went to college and you know kind of stayed here during summers before I moved out on my own and Diane is here with me and so she may hear some new information and oh. I'm wearing my Hawkeye shirt yes which my brother Ben gave her yesterday Ben and his family so let's go ahead and see if mom and dad are ready for this this is really their home now oh and you can hear Ben's dog there in the background or soon in the foreground now the reason why we are entering in go ahead baby the back door is because this is the door that we used as our primary entrance. Very rarely would we use the front door to come inside because the garage is in the back with Ben's kids playing yep. in the backyard. All right, so this is, well, my parents, for one. You've already met them, or you should have already met them. <laughs> this is the family room? Well, I see my big screen TV. <laughs> That's my big screen TV. It's not very big. Well, I got one of these if they need to use this. It is a screen. Oh, okay, there you go. Now it's a big screen TV uh, with uh, Southwestern decor. Mm -hmm. This is Dad's spot because he can lounge yeah, and lay back. It's got a big dip in it. That's <laughs> Uh, rocker, also recliner. Every Midwestern home has to have one by law. I remember when the ceiling fan was installed because when we moved in, it wasn't installed. Right. This used to be the area where the kitchen table sat. We didn't have any cabinets or cupboards here. We only uh, had cupboards there, old there cupboards. And there was an a, island. Used to be an island. Here. Yeah. The cookie cutters here. I think mom's had Those forever. Are this that, this changes to the table. table. Oh, okay. See, that oh, changed the table and the chairs are inside there. Mm -hmm. The cookie mom. cutters on the wall were Nanny's cookie cutters. Those were her cookie mm -hmm. cutters. So. Still have an answering machine. Mm -hmm. Although, I'm proud you guys finally went wireless. That's great. Oh, if I can get it back up there. And now we got all our cows. Well, my cows. Yeah, how did the cow collection start? The Holsteins? Uh, I had a place I stayed when I was working in Kansas City. I used to stay down there three or four nights a week, so I had a place and I decorated the place in black and white. And so the cows were black and white. So. And so Mom took it and she's made an Amish motif. See the little boy here? With the cow. Uh -huh. And the little boy up here with the cow. Oh, is that the far side? Up over here. Wow, that's impressive. Oh, yes, the pen. The notes. Up over here. The little boy with the cow, the Amish. This is my little fat cow. And this is my big fat bull. <laughs> More cows up there. Yeah. The refrigerator, kitchen stove, microwave. This is not the first microwave we've had. I, I remember buying that at the mall. Yeah, yeah, the first one that we had. It had a little turn crank dial on it. Yeah. I mean, not like when you had to turn to like get it going or anything, but uh, I remember these jars with co that labeled coffee, flour, sugar. Yeah, and they're like um, milk cans. All them, they're like milk cans. Yeah. yeah. Classics. Like our song. So this kitchen, I would say, has probably so undergone the most transformation since uh, I had moved yeah, out. Everything else is pretty much the yes, same. Yes, because I got tired of walking around the, around the island that was in the middle. It was a stationary island. Sure. You couldn't move it. I got tired of it. I said, no, nope, no more that. So, this is the dining room with a very old table. The dining room tables are the chair. The dining room table, the buffet, and the chairs were your great grandmother's. Uh, probably bought in the 1950s would be my guess, late 1950s. Notice the Beatles up there on the top? Mm -hmm. And then there's a Kennedy plate, member, commemorative plate, and that's a collector plate for the Iwo Jima flag raising. Then mom collects miniature Nativity. nativities, so inside this egg is one and inside this one too, but I don't want to open it. That's no, fine. please don't. <laughs> and then What kind of this invading was... your space? I don't know if you can see them. These were things that I played with when I was little. This little worm sat on top of a half shell that my brother got me when he went to, I don't know, Lake Okoboji or someplace. This is my Dumbo. I don't know if he's a collector, but he's like rubber. This was your nannies, and that was Noonies. This was Noonies. That's my favorite. Yeah, corn. Um, 
this set of egg cups was given to us for our wedding from a lady that our neighbor, she was from Berlin. And this was Nunes, I think that's Occupy Japan. Various crystal Joe gave for to me for different anniversaries. This is our china because we didn't want china china. So we picked out stoneware because it, we could get the whole set and people didn't have to. I knew that we wouldn't be entertaining lavishly, so we felt that stoneware was the best. I and don't think we use the dining room that often, really. Maybe with guests. Family things like Easter is mm -hmm. the holiday we usually do it. And then we used to do Christmas Eve here a lot. With the tree going over here. Mm -hmm. And Steve. this right now is the toy room for the yeah. kids. Yeah. <laughs> and we got toys. that over the, the uh, coffee tables over there because this sofa goes to a bed and we had a couple people sleeping here. We can put that back now. No, I, no I'm going to leave it open for the toy room oh, okay. for right now. I mean, they need to and have for us. And this is our family tree on this wall. Those are my hands. Mm -hmm. This is mom and I, and this is who? Ben, uh -huh. Adam, mm -hmm. and me with glasses. Yeah. And All of our relatives yeah. and... My mom and dad. There's oh, yeah. grandpa and me. Nanny to the left there. Uh, nanny. This is my dad when he was a child with a neighbor. This is my mom and her sister and brother. This is dad when they were young and his brothers his sister might be in there too, their baseball team. When we were younger, obviously. And a corner where sits toys and an elephant table. There are elephants. Yeah, that elephant table's from Ghana, Africa. Let's see if I can get under there for a second. These all pull out, I think those are ivory tusks. Yeah. Um, they pull out and they make little stands. Front door, and then this is just like a little, not much in there. Mom likes cardinals. When mom gets lost, I have to put my hunting hat on and go look for her. Cross. Coat closet up front. Pictures of random things that have apparently happened. There's the downstairs bathroom with butterflies that I remember. And the sink that I do not remember. This is new. The mirror is definitely old, as are the lighting fixtures. And then it goes right on back around where we came. Yeah. So this just goes around. The cow. In the kitchen again. And there's the family room. Alright, uh, let's go upstairs and then we'll go downstairs. Okay. The new lights, I hate the way they, and JD's they start lighting oh. and then they have to brighten up. I was going to say, this is the original railing. I'm surprised uh, none of us boys, because I have two younger brothers, ever hurt ourselves this very pointy tip. Not very child safe. And another picture of mom and dad, just in case you forget which house you're in right now. Where the heck did she go? <laughs> She's quick. There's the attic fan, which would keep us cool in the summer, or try to keep us cool with the, the timer switches and everything like that. And here would be my youngest brother Ben's old room, which has now been transformed with a ceiling fan. Don't know why we didn't have those when I was growing up. That'd be great. They didn't have them around. They did. This is Dad's office, and you've seen this angle sometimes when he records yeah, videos. Still, still a work in process. I'll finish hanging my pictures and then I'm going to do another office tour. These two rockers go in the other room that we're using as a bedroom right now. It's a very tiny rocker. Mm -hmm. Where did the little rocker come from? It's a big from, rocker. Okay? That was my brother Chris's rocking chair. The little he, one. Was, he was a baby when he was a little boy. Not me. No, my brother Chris. Your he, uncle Chris. Who I was named after. And he found it up in their attic all apart so he put it together and repainted it refinished it and wanted to know if i wanted it for the heritage room yeah. this was my grandfather's rocking chair it's mission oak all right so you have a heritage room now yeah right mm -hmm. is this adam's old bedroom yeah but it's being used as a bedroom again yeah, sure this is for the this is right now is the kids' bedroom but when i call it the heritage room the rocking chairs go in here this was a piece of furniture that um, was my aunt and uncle's and it was really quite a mess. I mean, it was 
bad. And I took it and refinished it. <laughs> and, and when we moved in, there was carpeting on that wall. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. And then this is like pictures, all of our pictures. Waiting for oh. a picture of Diana and Chris for this. I was going to say, who's that family? They look awesome. <laughs> I'm waiting for a picture of <laughs> Diana and Chris. That's your future, future family. And Mom and Dad, when they got married, and uh, my grandfather and grandmother, and, and some keepsakes. This was my teddy bear when I was little. His name was Theodore Bear. These were your shoes when you were a baby. These shoes uh, were from our honeymoon, yes, in Holland, not a honeymoon, from when we lived in Holland, Michigan. And they actually are my size, so if you wear a lot of socks in them, they would fit me. And these were Adam's shoes, and these were Ben's shoes. And my senior portrait. Dang, dude. I could have been a spokesperson for Jerry Curl. <laughs> this table here, my grandmother in commode. the... A commode? In the um, mining camp where they lived. They, my father's family lived in a mining camp, and she kept kind of a boarding. She would keep boarders. And a boarder made this for her when she was, when they, for, for the price of boarding. And yeah, it's a commode. It, you would put a water, um, uh, a pitcher and, and a water jug on it to wash up. So that's hers. This, my great grandmother, so would be your great great, uh, embroidered this in 1908. Bathroom across the way. This is really the only. We had, well, the one bath downstairs, but it was really a half bath. We just had a sink and a toilet. This is the only uh, shower in the house and a bath. For nine people. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, right now. We're laughing because we're pretending like we're the Waltons in the OTB show, The Waltons, where they were, what, ten people in a family, in the family home, and they had one bathroom. So that's what we are this week. And this was refinished. Newer than uh, what, what I had, I guess, in here growing up, although... I never learned French, but I remember this kid. And there's a mirror here at the back of the door. I'm trying to be complete. What are you laughing at? Well, people want to know. All right, so what should we do first? My parents' room or my old room? I um, mean, go in there. Okay. Yeah. So this is my old room, currently turning into a Mickey Mouse room. And I used to hang things on the wall. There used to be shelves along each side of the window. This is carpeting that I picked out. Originally there was green carpeting here. And then in the closet, up above, is access to the attic. And my bed was not this large. It's a very small bed, twin. Now it just functions as a guest bedroom yeah. in here. With a ceiling fan that, again, would have come in handy. <laughs> this is Mom and Dad's room, as it looks right now. That was uh, crocheted by a friend of my grandmother's. Serena was her name. Oh, yeah. She I remember Serena. Be do you? Beautiful handwork. So that's hers. And, and I got it. I, I was so lucky to get it. I got a question for you, Chris. Now, is Diana using this table? Right now. Uh, and who uses that table? Oh, well, that's there? me. I own that. There's all the garbage on there. Yeah. It's called, I am not in my room right yeah, now. I noticed I'm... how nice and nice and clean. <laughs> it's because she had time to do it. I was this is, downstairs. This is the opposite of what we are at home. <laughs> right. All right, you want to show them your, uh, your collection here? Let's go, oh, all my shirts? Yeah. So all my shirts, I got different, all kinds of shirts in there. I started wearing these Aloha shirts before they became as popular as they are now. Now you see a lot of people wearing them. These are my long sleeve shirts that I have to wear when I do the motorcycle classes. This has always been your bedroom in here. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. yeah it's the only bedroom with a lock on the door. True, <laughs> and that, that's probably why it was their bedroom. <laughs> this box, I don't think it plays music anymore, but it was... Well, I think you, Chris had it on the... On yeah, the I tried, but the uh, uh, winder is bent. Yeah. Plays love, used to play love as a mini splendid thing. And when I was a teenager, my sister is three years older than me. And she had a job before me. And I saw it in a store one day and she bought it for me. And unfortunately it has, it's pretty old. And it is kind of falling apart. But um, it was like, this is very thin inlay. Some of it is very thin inlay. This little egg came from um, the Beely Clock Museum 
in um, Spillville, Iowa. It's a Scandinavian egg. This was um, when we went to Paris. It's the Eiffel Tower, or I think it's pronounced Eiffel, but I'm not sure. I'm not French. When we went there, I thought, oh, I don't care if I see the Eiffel Tower. You know, it's, it's a big still thing. It was one of the most beautiful things I have ever seen, and I never, ever, ever got tired of going and seeing it. And then we got that stuff over there in Italy. Now let's head to the basement. Yay. Even though the basement has never really been finished, I did transform one of the rooms from a general storage room to a bedroom at some point when I was in college. I wanted uh, you know, a room with a bit more space, something that was cool, so it was in the basement. On the basement door, there's a cat door because mom and dad used to have a cat. We'll head downstairs. Now this basement has been slightly refinished. This is where I've been working. There's the kitchen table, current kitchen table, which mom and dad are trying to sell right now. But uh, mom and dad have painted the floor subsequently. It wasn't always painted. The walls were repainted in here. And it's, again, general storage and general purpose, but this is the room that I converted in here. This is the only house in this area a guest that room? has a room beneath their family room. What? This is the only house in this area that where they excavated beneath the family room, the basement beneath the family room. Why? Um, because apparently the previous owners wanted the room under there. Huh, smart. Yeah. So yes, it was smart. Uh, and then storage and extra freezer and refrigerator and washer and dryer and a sauna? Yep. Why don't you just walk outside? <laughs> yeah. well, I, I do that too. <laughs> uh, but a lot of the cabinets and storage and, and stuff, this has always been for storage, but of course have been upgraded over the years. Wow! Introducing the Beatles. Look at all those records oh, yeah. down there. Real LPs. Cool. Do you even have a record player anymore? Yes, I do. Um, just a really inexpensive one. The first thing that I bought with my first paycheck was a little a piece of furniture stereo and the speakers came out. And I had that for years and years and years, and several years ago we had a garage sale and I said it was time for it to go. And under here is where my family used to huddle during tornado warnings. Since this is my 40th birthday, many people have been asking what I wanted as a gift, and since we're this close to having 300,000 subscribers, that's what I want. I want to hit 300,000 subscribers for my 40th birthday. But the only way that's going to happen is if you recommend this channel to other people for them to subscribe and to become a part of this community. So please tell your friends and people who you haven't made your friends yet because I think with your help we can hit 300,000 for my 40th birthday. And that's pretty much the house that's it. that I, I grew up in. And Simple house. Any other questions? I don't think so. Right. <laughs> Fine then, don't. <laughs>